today I want to dedicate this episode to speak about this podcast because this is my second project. I've been spending more and more time in preparing this content, both in interviews, having ideas for new episodes. I have upgraded my recording system here. Instead of only using the phone, I am also using my microphone now, so hopefully everything is a bit better. And it's, it's going good. I mean, I'm definitely far from having a lot of success. But I have reached recently the 3,000 listens mark. And yeah, every day I have a lot of listens. It makes me really happy to see that every episode still has a lot of traction. In the beginning, I was not sure if I was able to release daily. But so far, it has been quite natural. It's it's working out quite okay. I'm still not sure, though, if I should release daily. I've asked around. Some people advise me not to do so. But, yeah, I really don't know. So, I would love to get your input on that. Maybe you can yeah, follow me on ThiagoRBF on Twitter. The link will be also in the description of the episode. And, yeah, let me know. I will see. If I have some followers... From this episode, I'll know that I should continue to release daily. And yeah, today I want to speak about something really interesting about this podcast. I've been getting roughly 40 to 45 listens per episode. Of course, that some episodes have more, some have less. But my strategy to get new users is always the interviews. Because I interview... You know, my, my interview partner normally has a network that I don't have access. And by interviewing this person, I will have access to this network and probably get new listeners. And so far, I was quite hopeful about a couple of interviews. I interviewed the Sailing Frenchman, which is a YouTuber with more than 100,000 subscribers. I interviewed Hendrik, my friend, is the bread code also with 80,000 subscribers and recently I interviewed Irish and she also has a YouTube channel and which I think 60,000 or something and all of these people that I interviewed were after I interviewed Pushka which was an amazing interview I really enjoyed it I think it turned out quite well And we were kind of counting down the or counting up the listens because my previous top interviewed was Matthias that got roughly 80 listens, 80 plays. Yeah, I I didn't know if she was able to reach that. And I thought, okay, maybe she will. And we're trying to count up those votes. But for some reason, I always thought, okay, yeah, that's great. But now I'm interviewing the sailing Frenchman. It was actually in the same day. I thought, okay, there's no chance. This one will blow up. I will have, I know, a thousand plays or something. I was, you know, my hopes were quite high, you know, because they have so many hundred thousand subscribers, a lot. So I interviewed the Sailing Frenchman. I has, asked him to share. He actually shared my story on his Instagram, which basically had, I think, 10,000 followers, which is not a lot. And nothing. I mean... Not nothing, I I got 50 listens, you know, 60 plays. But, yeah, it's not the boom I was expecting. Because I feel bad on asking him to share this interview. I thought it was just brilliant that he got the time and took the time to speak with me. So I didn't want to push him too much. So I thought that was the problem. I thought, okay, it's fine, I mean... I didn't push him too much. He shared on Instagram. There's only 10,000 followers. Cool. Bushra is still on top. Because at this point, she had overcome Matthias' interview. And now she has, I think, about 90 plays. So I was thinking, okay, great. But now it's Hendrik. He has 80,000 subscribers. And he's my friend. I can just push him as much as I want. So we did the interview. And we shared it. He shared again my story on it, on his Instagram. He even shared the interview in this community on YouTube. Because now on YouTube you have like a community feature. Which is kind of a Facebook wall. And you can share your posts there. 
and he also even shared it there. I also, by the way, use LinkedIn, and I tagged him on LinkedIn. So every time I, I do something like this, if they have a LinkedIn, I always tag them. I also tried to tag them on Twitter to get a bunch of new followers. But then again, nothing. I think he has now 65 plays. His post on YouTube got five likes, which is super odd because actually, if I look the other posts he shares on YouTube, they have like hundreds of likes. What we realized was that the fact that we were actually sharing a link in the YouTube community made YouTube not to share and spread this post. So I guess that one thing that I, we could do is definitely to share a picture instead. So maybe I will ask him that. But still, and with the Irish, it was exactly the same thing. So, so far, Bushra is on top with 85 plays. It's not my most listened episode. I think it's the first one is the pilot with more than 200 plays. And the second one is the Kickstarter episode with more than 120 plays or something. But still, she's on top. And today she told me that the folks in her company, Datadog, wanted to share our podcast in their network. So it will actually have a lot, a lot of plays. So I think the lesson here is never discard anyone. <laughs> Don't, I mean, I, I didn't discard Bushra, obviously, but I always thought, okay, maybe the influencers will bring much more people. But no, I mean, she's, I guess, an influencer in a way, but in a much lower scale than the other, you know, YouTube influencers. But she has the most impact in bringing a lot, a lot of people to the podcast. So I'm really, I really appreciate her for for doing this and her passion on sharing this conversation it was great and I, I really like it and I think that's that's the lesson even when you're doing your products being a podcast being an app being I don't know ice cream always support your users always support the people that are passionate about it you know that that's a big mistake a lot of people sometimes Forget about the users, forget the, about the people that are actually passionate about it and they only look to the views, they only look to the fame. That's a big, big mistake because those that are really passionate about what you are doing and what product you are developing, those are the ones that you should cultivate, listen to their feedback and really make them part of your community and the, your building process because this, I truly believe, is what will make your project grow. So, for the ones of you that are true fans that listen to this podcast daily, I really want to thank you and I want to include you in the process of building this podcast. So, I want to hear your ideas about topics that I should discuss and should speak about in the next episodes. I will leave a post in the description of this episode so that you can go there and suggest your ideas in the comments and I'll read through them and definitely use them. So... Please go there. I really, really want to hear from you. This was another wannabe entrepreneur. See you tomorrow.